Now, the first poem in this book of odes. Ode to the Hymen. I don't know when you came into being inside me when I was inside my mother. Maybe when the involuntary muscles were setting like rose jello. I love to think of you then, so whole, so impervious, you and the clitoris as safe as the lives in which you were housed. They would have had to kill both my mother and me to get at either of you. I love her at this moment as the big fortress around me, the matron head around the sweet meat of my maiden head. I don't know who invented you to keep a girl's inwards clean and well cupboarded. Dear wall, dear gate, dear style, dear Dutch door, not a cat flap, nor a swinging door, but a one-time piñata. <laughs> How many places in the body were made to be destroyed once? You were very sturdy, weren't you? You took your job seriously. I'd never felt such pain. You were the hourglass lady the magician saws in two. I was proud of you, turning to a cup full of the bright arterial ingredient. And how lucky we were, you and I, that we got to choose when and with whom and where and why, plush pincushion, somehow related to statues that wept. It happened on the rug of a borrowed living room, but I felt as if we were in Diana's woods, he and I and you together, or as if we were where the magma from the core of the earth burst up through the floor of the sea. Thank you for your life and death. Thank you for your flower girl walk before me, throwing down your scarlet petals. It would be years before I married, years before I carried within me a tiny baby hymen, near the eggs with other teensy hymens within them. But you unscrolled the carpet leading me into the animal life of a woman. You were a sort of blood mother to me. First you held me close for 18 years, and then you let me go.